Guar, you ready to rumble? This microphone is not plugged in anything. I don't know why I'm doing this. So what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we've got a very, very special package. In today's video, we've got a package that I've been waiting on for 14 months or something. Honestly, I don't even remember when I bought this, and after I bought it, I would totally forget that I bought it until somebody else would complain about how long they were taking to get here, and then I would think, oh yeah, I spent some money on that. I should probably be concerned. Honestly, I, along with a lot of other collectors, chalked this up to a loss. We just thought that the company was never going to come through, but finally, 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 the packages started to ship, people started to get them, they look fantastic, and needless to say, I'm excited to jump on into today's box. So, fresh from Hop Toys, that is hot on plastic, or hot off plastic, or I, I, hot house of pancakes, or something. Hop Toys has created a beautiful, beautiful vinyl figure, and I am stoked to see what we've got. This probably isn't a surprise if you are in the Guar collecting circuit because lots of people have received theirs so far, but I am just now getting around to unboxing mine. So let's see if the weight was worth it. First of all, I can tell you these things are a great size. That's what she said. <laughs> I've obviously seen in other people's posts just how big they are. Hey, that's what she said. Larger than what I was expecting. That's what she said. And now just seeing it even in the bubble wrap right here, I can tell that this is going to be a very cool piece for my shelf. So let's go ahead and tear on into it. Take this guy out. Man, he is fucking sick. Already I can tell you, this thing is super, super rad. Look at that. I'm not sure how well you can see past the plastic there, but damn, that thing is fucking cool. Obviously what we have here is a beautiful, beautiful plastic vinyl so Fubi, soft plastic. I don't really know anything about this realm, but I did get to see some of these get made out in Colorado on my trip earlier this year. Very, very interesting process. Obviously they weren't these odorous figures getting made, but these vinyl toys getting made was something really, really neat to watch. Gave me a new appreciation for the craft, to be honest. But yeah, anyways, what we have here is a beautiful, beautiful plastic odorous. This thing is way, way cooler than I expected. I really thought that these were going to be like half size. Maybe I just don't remember what the size of the thing said. This guy's already poked a hole in his package, so we will be taking him out of the package, but I did want to show you guys some of the packaging there. On the front there, we've got some beautiful, odorous artwork, just absolutely amazing. And then on the back, we've got some of Dave Brockie's original odorous artwork. And obviously, I'm going to be keeping that tag. It's pretty cool, and it's corrected me. High on plastic, not hot off plastic or whatever I was saying. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this dude out. I'm really excited to get an actual look at him, not behind plastic or anything. This thing is killer. All right, here we go. Man, this is so cool. This is stuff that should have been happening a long, long time ago. Get you a look at that, bud. How epic. He is painted perfectly all over, even the ass. We got that beautiful, beautiful cuttlefish right there at the front, just cresting your face with its beautiful soul. Got some beautiful brain testicles there. The shoulder armor is amazing. We've got some mobility with the arms there. Very cool. And his face even just looks good. I am really really happy with this. I halfway expected to make a video shitting on this company because it took so long to get the product due to whatever and they weren't that good about communicating it. It was like once every blue moon we would get an update and that update always was. We're still working on them. But you know what? Doesn't really feel like I waited that long. It wasn't a very expensive piece. I think it was like 65 bucks or something like that. And like I said earlier, I forgot that I even ordered it most of the time until someone else would complain about how long they were taking or the company would give one of those vague updates. So it's just one of those things that I forgot about. And I was like, yeah, if it shows up, it shows up. And if not, then it's $65. That's not a huge deal. And there was going to be a lot of people that were far more angry than me over it. So they would take care of the problem. But with it being here now, 
now, I'm super happy with it, man. I think this thing is absolutely fantastic, and I definitely can't wait to get it on the shelf. This is a great filth the shelf piece. And I'm actually kind of looking back here to see where it's going to go because I want it to have a special spot in the collection and be seen because it's such a cool piece. I think that it deserves it. So, shout out to High on Plastic Toys. This thing is fucking cool. Glad it finally showed up. If you guys have the chance to grab one of these, I would highly, highly recommend it. These are very, very rad. Obviously, not directly up my alley. Like, this isn't a mask or a prop. It is a figure and a vinyl figure. Nonetheless, it's not like an action figure or something else that I collect more of. This is a little more special, and even I'm happy with it. So, that's got to count for something, right? So, with all that being said, I think that just about does it for today's video. Filth the Shelves 2022 continues. And guess what? Tomorrow, I've got more Filth the Shelves goodness for you right from Guar. So, as always, I am going to end this video with some nice close up shots of this piece to let you guys see all of the beautiful, beautiful detail. We will then get it added into the collection and show it off there as well. And that will be that. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I genuinely hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. I definitely appreciate it and it helps the channel out immensely. Now, on with the hero shots. Until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to the cuttlefish. And we'll see you guys in the next one.